right, so we'll kick you off with a new game. I will sit down and stop talking and let you, uh, oh, there you go. You know what? I, I've always been like a console gamer, but I'm going to go with the keyboard this time because I think it's a lot quicker. <gasps> okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your feet wet here. And you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. And so, so it begins again. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. <laughs> okay, now. Look, I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. <laughs> How'd you rotate? It um, should be Q and E. Q and E, okay. See, that's why I need You'll you here. Start by building a Hammond <laughs> creation help. Lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> ah, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but seriously. Ah, there. Oh, there it is. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, God. Okay, right. Construct a Hammond creation lab. Ah, there it is. So this has to be built on a fence, does it? Uh, it doesn't have to be, but uh, it makes sense for it to be because the dinosaurs obviously released from your, your lab. Right, okay. Uh, can't believe I get to play it. <laughs> okay, so we've got the fossil center. Okay. Obviously, you'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power Ooh. grid. So, that's... Oh, there we go. I, I could do this. I play games. <laughs> now comes the real this test. Perfect. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. <laughs> oh. Big word for a not-so-little egg. Get one by clicking on the lab and then selecting an egg slot. There should be enough genome data for a viable dinosaur. This also lets me evaluate your viability. So, you know, no pressure or anything. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder what it's like for you. It's like, oh, he's so close. <laughs> <laughs> so, click that, then incubate. So, Struthiomimus, that's new. That hasn't been confirmed. Ah. Your job is simple, really. <laughs> yeah. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. <laughs> right, so we can release the dinosaur now? Well, I'm yeah. doing it. I'm doing it anyway. Let her out. <laughs> oh. Now to make 200 like more! <laughs> the, the most precious moment, <laughs> the result of incalculable actions and Reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. Thirsty She's got yeah, quite thirsty. Okay. Your facility is now open, and it looks like you are attracting paying guests. Am I? Which are really my we favorite start kind to of see. guests. They've yes. come to say the, see the one dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> so when they come on the monorail there? Uh, they, they do, yeah. You can, you can see them sort of start to populate your park. Right. And obviously, the, the better your park rating, the more, more guests you'll have. 
Like, like real parks. Like real parks, exactly. <laughs> One of the parks in the race. So at the moment, you're not quite at one star, so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Blast. But that's okay. It's early doors. Oh, so this is where I get to choose a path, really. So. That's right. Yeah. So you can. This at the moment we're choosing um, one of the divisions to to accept a contract from, mm. and contracts are like small tasks um, uh, that can sort of give you something to do, but also reward you with reputation, which um, allows you to progress with the division and then unlock their story. So, missions. if I select one of these now, am I locked into that, or can you, I switch? You are most definitely not locked into it. No. Right. Okay. So what this will, what you'll find is that completing this one will um, because it's an early. Uh, early Island will actually unlock the first story mission in the game, so you're going to get the security story mission after this, but that's that's okay. Okay, right. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. Obviously, you know we've got so Mr. Our basic Doc, Mr. Dr. Ian Malcolm, we uh, but we've also got some original control, characters mm -hmm. of our own creation, which have all got encouraging oh, instinctive the universal blessing. I was going to say, yeah, is, there, is it allowed? <laughs> yeah, of course. Exactly, has yeah. to go through we'll, that. We work very closely with them. Everyone's uh, fear object, myself included, as you know, is to have these hmm. animals running free and loose in the park. So how about rotating a building? Uh, so that's the Z without taking chances. Should be yeah, just down the bottom. There's a little cheat sheet on the. The UI there. Where's that, sorry? Uh, so when you had the building selected, oh, just, right. just down the bottom. Yeah. And then, as per usual, you just need to connect that one to the path. And it, because you built it within the um, the green circle, it's already going to get power. Oh, right, okay. So substations, if you click on that substation, it should show you uh, its, its area. Of, if, I don't know whether you clicked on it. Mm. Oh, okay. No, Trying it to. Oh, okay. oh, no, again, because we're... I've locked out in yeah, the tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my fault. No, no, it's fine. So we can make our own little, uh, like, pylons and electrical... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so the way power works is you have a power station that generates the power. That's then distributed around the park via pylons and then substations. And it's the substations that provide the, the radius of effect that then buildings draw their power from that radius. Well right. And you'll notice absolutely so no as long as it's inside or touching the radius, you, you're fine. Ah, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, so what I meant to say is that completing missions raises I know, your I'm like, standing. Do, do I, your is it okay to just to go for one? <laughs> you, <will>. yes, <laughs> yes. you can do whatever you want. Ooh, this ooh. means they'll be willing to give you more difficult right. missions. Oh, oh, who's this? Oh, okay, acquire 50% genome from Edmontosaurus. Here. Nice. Let's go. I've got a new assignment that so. I think is perfect for your skill set. Oh, well, I accidentally have already set one off, I think. Or have no, I? No, no, you have yet. And that's okay, because it's going, it's going to... Uh, it's Canada, it's going... Oh, you're right, yeah. yeah. So that was lucky. Yeah, was. <laughs> and and there they go. There they go. So they'll go, and they'll go looking... Foraging for fossils, and they'll return when they've got something for you. So the moment we've only got 20%. Exactly. So we you need, need 50% uh, of genome in order to create a um, viable dinosaur. Oh, okay, cool. But there's nothing stopping you uh, making a friend, or in fact naming uh, Street of the Mindless, which we didn't, we didn't do. Oh, can we do that now? You can, yeah, you should be able to. Right, where, what was like where it brought up the, the, like, the, the map? map so yeah. that's, uh, that, oh, just that? Okay. Just that one under there is the map. I think the M key will also work. Oh. Then there we go, we can find yeah. her. she is. And if you press the R key, the that should open her tracking oh. data. Yep. There we go, and then you can see her needs. And, and she's starting to get a little bit lonely because she hasn't got any friends. Becky doesn't need friends. Let's just, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> there you go. Becky with a double R. Yeah, you've got to say it like that. It's like, Becky! <laughs> oh, no, I didn't click no. enter. <laughs> Becky, you come back here. There we go. Right. See, this is why I'm better with, like, not a keyboard. <laughs> so I click enter, and then... That's it. And then yes! It. And awesome. Is, in all her glory. And now Becky needs more friends. She needs lots. They're only 50%, though. Now, what is the difference between 50% and higher? Is it so it's, these it's, stats? It's, yeah, exactly. It's a few things. It's their, their base stats improve um, with the more genome, but also their rating. So a higher rating dinosaur is always... A better dinosaur, oh, effectively. Okay. Does it change the way they look at all? So not the genome. You can change the way the dinosaurs look via uh, the genetic modification process. Right. Okay. Oh, there's a little tutorial. Uh, upgrades. Ah, these are the upgrades. They are. Which yeah. we can't unlock yet. Until you research them, assuming you can access the research, which is all done via the research center, which is just to the north up there. Which I don't think I can do. You can. Oh you yeah, there we go. Yeah. View research. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah. So research. Uh, ooh, what did we go for? 
You see, I, I know I've only got like a certain amount of time, so I'm like, go, go, go! <laughs> Do all the things. Do all the things, okay. You know what? I'm gonna change my dinosaurs. Um, ooh, what's that? Splicing this gene will increase the attack and resilience traits. I'm getting squid dinosaurs <laughs> or octopus dinosaurs. Oh, I love the interface. This is great. Thank you. Yeah, we've yeah. worked. worked hard on this. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm too in this. You've done an amazing job. Thank you. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> you, you carry on. It's nice to see. Yeah. It's nice to play. <laughs> so we got a 12% increase there. And a, ooh, a 26. Mm. That's probably going to be our best. Amber's good. Ooh, so so you, can, uh, you can actually queue up your... Uh, your extraction, so there's no reason not to add. You've got a certain number oh, of slots, yeah. so you can eight percent get things going at the same time. I don't know if that's going to give us everything I need, though. So would I need to set up another expedition? Just yeah, yeah, it might be okay. safe. Okay. Um, are there shortcuts for just like going straight to the expedition? Uh, so you can, on a controller, you can press X on a mouse and keyboard. I'm not sure what the uh, shortcut is but you can any building access it with a management interface will take you to here and the tabs along the top allow you to shortcut between them so right okay so i'm noticing as well like once i've been to one place it's not as good to go back because it's partially depleted so yeah so what you find um, is that while it's partially depleted you'll still get fossils still from there but eventually you know you can exhaust the dig site um mm. but uh, your teams can uncover new sources of fossils from dig sites or indeed new species of dinosaurs from certain dig sites depending on where you are in the game and how you progress. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh right, right. You can only unload one dinosaur at a time. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And then when that one's out, the next one will okay. come out because you've had its cue. Come on, babies. I'm gonna make that's one thing I wanted to do. Ooh, not yeah. just yet. I'm not gonna not gonna change that genome just yet. Or can I? <gasps> Hold the phone. What do we got here? Oh, what's this? Robust digestion. Makes more resilience. But viability. Oh, can you have failures? So you can. Oh. That's the, the downside. There's a twofold downside to genetic modification. And the first one, primary one, is that you can, the more you modify a dinosaur, the more it impacts its viability, which means it can fail the incubation process. It also costs more to incubate right. a dinosaur. However, the benefits are, are obvious. You know, the dinosaurs mm -hmm. come out with a higher rating and their stats increase, which can obviously can make a big difference. Ah, um, there we go. And you can also offset this risk uh, via upgrades. There are specific upgrades you can apply to your building that can help you minimize the viability impact. There's so much! There's so much! <laughs> so I have one octopus struthomimus. <laughs> yeah. Incubate and release. Oh, well, I'm on the, on the go for that. Construct an ACU. Okay. Right. Oh, God, so much stuff. I'm just doing so good! <laughs> oh, we need more octopus. Uh, like, how, how much can we modify a dinosaur and change the way it looks is that is that possible so you cannot so one of the one of the we're obviously we're adhering to the jurassic law and, and one of the key tenets there is it, abominations mm. isn't really something they go for they, they kind of go for the idealized dinosaur and that's something we're sticking to as well so the in terms of cosmetic modifications you uh you can change their appearance by the skin and okay. rather than uh you know so you can change skins, but you can't deform them, sort of. No. So you can change the colors of them. Oh, OK. No, that's, a, yeah, because I thought you couldn't make your own hybrids. I thought that that was uh, said before, I think. Uh, not as such. Mm -hmm. Oh, not as such? Oh, not, hold on. Not, not, <laughs> not make your own, shall we say. Ah. So like Indominus Rex? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get this. We can do it. There we go. Okay, do I still need to connect that, or is that? You do indeed. Yeah, okay. You always need to. Always connected. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Sit. Okay. Research from an item. Ah. I think I've actually already set up a research. Just find out. Yeah. Um, so in one minute left. Okay. Right. Let's go release some more dinosaurs. Oh, I see this new Montosaurus. Oh no, never oh, mind. We're gonna see going. more beggies. <laughs> So this, it kind, this kind of reminds me of uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis when you get a new dinosaur, you have the announcers saying, welcome into the park, the, the, sca like the most terrifying dinosaur to ever exist. Yeah, it, is, it uh, makes sense to make a moment, a moment of it, doesn't it? I think 
we're very proud of our dinosaurs. Yeah, definitely. And, and you want to get the camera right up in its face. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. See them at their best. Becky the oh, third. They're, <gasps> they're conspiring. Yeah, that's definitely Becky the third. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one Becky. The other ones just share the name. She's the ringleader. <laughs> yeah. This is interesting because in all the species profiles, we've uh, seen like there's been three dinosaurs all conversating with each other. So, okay, so that's, that's not, yeah. uh, you know, it depends very much on the number of dinosaurs you've got. Right, okay. Um, wow. Oh, a bit cautious. That's fine. Don't be scared of Becky. <laughs> yeah. She's a bit camera shy. Oh, wow. That looks, oh, oh. <laughs> So good. Congratulations. How could anybody not? I know. <laughs> Congratulations. Your completed research has led to a new item. Okay, so now you can research your... Yeah, uh, now I can go to that treatment. Uh, which is a building upgrade. It's is it, the, it is yeah, a building upgrade. It's the, um, I, I will cheat and tell you it's the airborne rifle upgrade you want to get. That one? Uh, the, the oh, sorry, that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. Is there a way to cancel a research if you accidentally set it There up? is not, no. Oh, okay. You are, you're going to have to wait the whole two minutes or however long it takes to complete. Ooh. Oh, I was whacked into it there. The screen's so big. It's like, way. <laughs> Straight into it. Yeah, you've got to tell me how much longer i got left. No, you, you've got plenty of time. You're doing okay. fine. Have I got this headset on the right way? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's just better than mine. Right. Let's make, I'm going to make, ooh. So we can't make Ceratosaurus just yet. No, we need to go and get some more, uh, more fossils. More fossils. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? I haven't even been making any, uh, like, extracting any fossils. Uh, right, I'd probably go and... Oh, God. Uh, where's the helicopter? The expedition. The expedition, that's, that's, the, one. Yeah. that's the one. Right. So, I, at the moment, I don't have any missions. So it's just sort of free roam. You don't have any contracts. No, um, okay. But we can, um, so you don't have any active contracts, but you do have an active mission, sorry. Uh, and that's what you're researching the airborne rifles for. Oh, right. Oh, look at, so, wow, nobody has umbrellas. <laughs> so these guys, so the makeup of your park is determined uh, or influenced by your reputation with the divisions. So right. what you're seeing here is an awful lot. Of security? Of security. Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's just Becky! <laughs> Obviously impressed by the <laughs> Becky trio. <laughs> They're conspiring, we need an army! And we, we, do, we do have an unnamed dead Montosaurus as well, don't forget. Oh yeah! yeah. And one more on the way, I think. One of the to so, our you've, there we go. So we've now... Oh, I know, right? Yeah. There we go, so we oh. now are... Uh, we Let's need on to the next stage of the mission. Oh, we are not making a good profit <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I need to place, um, I think it was refreshments, wasn't it? How do I see the mission again? Uh, if, you, if you press the, the X or press the escape key to come out, of, come out of there. So actually what we're doing is because... Um, oh, nobody can get into the enclosure or... Right, well, so basically what, what the, uh, the gentleman was talking about... Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm glazing over no, everything. No, 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 you're, you're fine. This is, this is, this is good. Uh -huh. this is, it's fine. You can play it however you want to play it. That's, that's the name of the game, right? But uh, basically, with, they're doing, they want to perform a, a security test. Oh, oh, so that's cool. Choosing a, uh, a less, possibly less dangerous dinosaur, should we say? We hope. <laughs> yeah. um, we're going to try and lure her out oh. as, a, as a little test for your ACU team. Oh, so okay. Let's see if we can find the. If you go to your map view again. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Find the dinosaur in question. It should be the one. Oh, uh, it's, it's this one. Well, yeah. Becky, it's Becky! Becky's off. <laughs> but it's, it's the, uh, the Edmontosaurus is the, uh, the, the mission specific. Oh, right. So we want to get that Edmontosaurus yeah. out. And one thing, one more thing I just noticed actually is that you don't have any feeders in your enclosure. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder Becky's conspiring. <laughs> so how would I. So in the, in the enclosures section of the oh, menu. that one. Yeah, in there you should find yourself a herbivore feeder. Oh, okay. And, oh, it's different uh, heights of herbivores as well. Indeed. Ah. Oh. So build one there and one there. There yeah. we go. So that should start satisfying their, their needs. And then uh, 
Yeah, I guess we just need to wait and see what the unnamed Edmontosaurus <laughs> is up to. We might what? find the red. <laughs> <laughs> She's making a break for it. It's fine. Look, I have an army. <laughs> Becky doesn't stand a chance. So she's off now. What, <laughs> we, what we can do <laughs> is we can put, put a stop to her little exploration, her extracurricular activity. Now I don't know where she's going. She's she, decided that she's she's looking for food. She's going home. Oh yeah, she's really. Oh my. Oh, I'm so sorry, Becky. There's food inside. She might. So we can recapture her now. So you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, send out your ACU helicopter, which is you can either select it from the list oh, down there. There you go. And you could either uh, pilot it manually. A pilot it. Okay, so you want to hit the space bar to take it. Ah, okay. And then so, yeah, let's be interesting. So, you've got descend and ascend. Okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Just saw her run past. Oh. <laughs> oh, someone else is on their way. Oh, is that the Edmontus? Oh, no, that's oh, another, that's one. another one. one. Yeah, oh, so where's what? Becky? She's... Edmontosaurus is happy. So looks like Becky's gone back in, I think. Oh, she she, she, she saw what I was doing. Yeah, she knew. So where's, where's this one? Becky the second, <laughs> presumably. Oh, it's inverted controls for this as well. Uh, you can you can change it in the options if you. Oh, you can I zoom in? Uh, right click. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. But you just need to account for the, the dart drop. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm not used to flying a helicopter and shooting okay. shooting a it's dinosaur. Fine. It's a learning process. You're doing very well. Oh, yeah. That was a great shot. Oh, she's gone. She's down. And now what we need to do to put her back in her enclosure is to go to the ACU building. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. I, oh, I'm, I'm used to, like, Operation Genesis. I'm like, pick it up. <laughs> and then in there, we've got the, uh, oh, sorry, the, oh, the ACU bad. one. Yeah, that's okay. Is there a way to cycle through to different buildings? Uh, there is buildings of the same type. Otherwise, you can go to the map view and quickly jump to them that way. And then, uh, so, yeah, you've got it. Uh, I watched the video. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> And then, oh yeah, and Monosaur yeah, still where, hasn't escaped. Where is she? She's uh, she's very timid. Yeah, I I think I set off an expedition team. I'm not sure. Oh, that's because you really need to close that. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Ceratosaurus, a little bit more Ceratosaurus. We're getting there. And another little bit. Beautiful. Oh, wow. So what happens if we get a 100% genome? You are going to have a, a, the best baseline dinosaur you can you can have. Right. Oh, OK. Oh, oh, I need to see this. Where is it? <laughs> oh, no. Bless her. Uh, wait, that's not Becky. I don't think it was it. Becky the second. I no. Think. God knows. Yeah. Becky's, Becky's back inside. Becky the number. <laughs> oh, no. No, we have another one actually. Oh, I didn't even There's notice that. One out. It's because that gate's still open. Now, one thing I quite liked about uh, Operation Genesis is, as long as people felt secure, you could have dinosaurs running about with guests. Mm -hmm. um, is that possible here? Like, if they were little herbivores? So, I th basically, all of our dinosaurs are potentially dangerous in some capacity, even if they're not intentionally trying to harm your guests. You can find that they can actually run into or run, run through guests and, and, and injure your guests that way. So it's generally advised, right. advisable to not let them run. Through. Oh, okay. Because I, I just got dinosaur attack. Yeah, we look. Oh. oh our Edmontosaurus is oh, God. on a mission. It really is. Oh, yeah. So that's, uh, she's really thirsty. That's probably why she's not very happy. That's what she's up to. She's stopped. Asset has been delivered. She's awesome. She's having, having a think where she's off to. Oh, oh. How do I rotate the camera here? Uh, you should be able to do it with a mouse. It's probably a middle mouse. And oh, no, it's, it's Q&A. Q &A. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's in the jungle. Oh, she is. she's, she's <laughs> up in the trees. I think it's probably best if I like just place a gate near her. <laughs> is that possible? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, there's a room. It should just snap around. Maybe you have to move it around a little bit because I think the trees are oh, okay. causing havoc there. Yeah, there we so, go. Okay. What she might actually be doing yeah. is mm -hmm. attacking the fence. Oh. Okay. Have our runner. Oh. Time to tag him and bag him. Okay. Oh, it's We're out. Less than did, oh, did it attack the fence? That dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed She's to be. Still in there. Yeah, she oh, there we go. Uh, Aha! I see. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> it helps run away. So this I would uh, I suggest closing your gates. Oh yeah, good idea. And then. Uh, keep you safe, doctor. I'm happy <laughs> what kind of park manager are you? Close gates. And then we have our hands. Suggesting and tranquilize the dinosaur. I think. Okay. 
Uh, right, we need to select the. Uh, sorry, my bad. No, no, you're fine. Yeah. So, as I was saying before, there's a uh, case in point that the dinosaur, dinosaurs are all behavioural driven. So. Oh, look at them go! Oh yeah. Running. You can easily take it. <laughs> <laughs> Run head for it. Oh yeah, she's not happy. Oh, is there a gender? They're, they're all female. They're all female. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I want. I want to see these. Uh, Oh, no, no. oh is, is she gone? Nope. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, sorry, we have to go back to the ACU. That's right. So there's no way to click on the dinosaur and then have it uh, transported? There is not, no. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, okay. That was good. There's uh, no civilian casualties. Yeah, that's yeah not bad. Very well handled. Ooh. Trees? Get rid of all those. Can I make the brush bigger? Is that possible? They're not for the removal. Not for the removal one, okay. Some of the train tools allow you to change the size. Uh, will we be able to plant specific trees or different types of trees or is it just these set trees? So yeah, it's the, it's the set trees. You get the brush puts down a variety of trees that are appropriate to the island. Right, gotcha. I love this fence mechanic. The, the way it can curve around. So that's, uh, if you press the space bar, you'll uh, toggle, toggle curve mode. And then oh. if you, that's it. And then as a general rule, if you, you build to where your curse is pointing. Right. So if you want to have a nice sweeping curve, sort of. Oh, that's great. Yeah, there you go. So if we just have it, and then I'm probably going to curve around that way. Oh, hold on. Did I d oh, God. Oh, I think you, that's right. If you just snap, click back on the fence, I think you just clicked off of it. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe I can't get through the trees. Is no, that I think you should. I s probably just you can't see it. So if you click, you should find there. Yeah, right. there we go. Okay, now it's curving there, and boom. There we go, lovely. And one way to check the integrity of your enclosure is if you click on the map view. You should, he says, be able to see the, the fence outline, just about. Uh, I know, click on the on top there. There, there okay. it is, sorry, my, I clicked on no. that a while ago. That's okay. Awesome. So with fences, do they need to be near these um, electrical pylons? Uh, only the electrified variants of fences, which you have not just built. So electri electric fences require power. Right, uh, OK. Non-electrified fences do not. And there Ooh, we go. I did it. You have successfully completed the first security. Machine. Oh, beautiful. So I got, whoa, I got a million dollars for that? Yeah. So we're doing good, got some spending money. Thing is. We're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these. So now the world is your, your my oyster, so I, I can do whatever I please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll you can go fossil hunting. First. You can uh, pump out some more dinosaurs. You can take some contracts <gasps> to try and work for new. Ever vigilant. Whoa, that is expensive. Yes. I think it's complex. So that that building uh, is entertainment focused, but we have uh, a center for each of the three divisions and what. Their function is in the game is is they basically are act as a visitor hub for each of the guest types. Right. Okay. Um, and they generate income, but that income is is uh, proportionate to the reputation level you have with that division. Right. So okay. So as you kind of get better and better and have a higher and higher uh, entertainment reputation, it would be in your interest to use one of those buildings, and then you know it should pay then pay for itself. Okay. Oh, I just realised I've had that queued up for God knows how long. <laughs> Whoopsies. Right. Um, I need more fossils. So. So the icon above that building indicates there are fossils. There are fossils. Waiting to be actioned. Right. Okay. But none of them are very good. I kind of want a Ceratosaurus, but I guess I, I could just extract these uh, for yeah, the exactly, yeah, yeah for the time being. There's yeah. no reason not to do it. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't affect that. anything in a no. negative way now. And it frees up space. So when you do send out an expedition, which you may want to do. Yes, that's that's what I've been trying. It's like thinking, how do I do that again? <laughs> View expedition. Okay. Uh, so how do we unlock these? Is this with progressing the game? You unlock more dig sites. Exactly. Yeah. So there's a number of ways you can unlock more dig sites. It's either um, you know moving to different islands, unlock new dig sites, uh, but also some of the some of the ties is to mission rewards or reputation. Uh, right. Reputation. So can I only have one expedition team going at once? You on this island, yes. So um, as you progress through the game, you get access to additional teams. Oh, okay. 
just going to make as many of these. Oh, so what's this DNA behind it? That little so symbol. That, that indicates that your dinosaur has been modified. Ah, okay, gotcha. That's right, because it's octopus now. Yes, <laughs> there is some octopus in those reservoirs. Ooh, let's look at research. Uh, what's <coughs> medical? So we've got um, hookworm. So these can break out at any time, That's these right. sort of diseases. Yeah, right. there, are there are a number of diseases, and um, the, the diseases vary sort of per island, and as you progress, more and more can be inflicted on your dinosaurs. And uh, obviously, if you don't have the cure, you can't. Yeah, everyone will die. Yeah. <laughs> Bad things will happen. And, uh, one, one diseased dinosaur could turn into many, and that would not be good. Right. Oh, I'm just sort of, sort of looking at all this. So we've got like gyrosphere, you've got concrete and electrified fences. So these are obviously for the bigger dinosaurs. Like Indominus Rex. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> say nothing. Nope, can't say anything. <laughs> but we can speculate. So how would I do a mission? So, um, or does I just come in? So what you need to do is, uh, if you want to tackle another story mission, um, mm. or just a contract, is uh, you can actually request contracts uh, via the management or the control panel. Um, oh, okay. But con is. contracts will also be offered to you periodically. Uh, so, so if you bo bottom right on the contract session, I would just complete your. Record. I have I have hookworm. You have. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. And uh, you can request. It's just just down there. You can request a contract on there. Oh yeah. And then if you, again, you get. To oh, so I could. Yeah, I can choose now. Anyone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and obviously, because you've already Science. completed the security mission, it might be in your interest to work with someone else. And then, yep, you can access it. So use expedition side to. At least one herb before. That's easy. And you can have uh, three contracts active at once. You can request a new contract at uh, periodic intervals. But you'll also find that uh, Division can offer you a contract sort of right. uh, at random if you like. Um, you, they might just pop up and say, hey, we've got a job for you. Okay. How do I get. Oh, there it is, power. So I would. So you've already got a substation there. There. So if you go to. Uh, one way to show you this is if you, um, if you come out of this. Uh huh and go to the, so you've got two options. You can either go to the eyeball, which is the management views. Mm -hmm. And if you zoom out, this shows you where your power station is, your, all your pylons, and your substation radius or radii. Right. Uh, radii? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Something. Yeah. And um, basically, as I was saying before, power station generates the power. Mm -hmm. It then travels to or transported to substations via pylons, and the substations take it and convert it into these uh, radiuses, which is basically basically taking the power, mm -hmm. the raw power, and putting it in a format that the buildings can then use. So oh gosh, uh, if you want to expand your network you build out, you can build a substation and then connect it with or pylons or what vice versa. Next. Okay. That's but you will also obviously, well. uh, each power station generates, generates a finite amount of power. Right. Oh, this looks interesting. So we have a, we have a sick dinosaur somewhere. Yeah, I know. I, I heard, I heard yeah, Jeff Goldblum yeah. very disappointed in me. One of the sources, so we can see it's ducky. No! Ah, oh, she's fine. If you, if you press, the, <laughs> press the R key on her, when, you, when oh. you've... Um, Common cold. Well, there's, no, there's nothing for it. We've, we're putting it down. <laughs> oh, there we go. As, as, uh, as I just mentioned, you can at random be offered a... A, a contract. Okay, so take a look at this contract. Uh, maintain facility rating. Uh... Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with the, the one I've got at the moment. I think that was like the expedition. It was indeed, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so one thing uh, to point out is if you did want to cure Ducky, mm -hmm. you're going to need to build a ranger. Oh, ranger station. That's ranger station, that's right. Gosh, that's why I've got you here. You can keep me straight. And uh, we would be in... Uh, in operation. Operation. <laughs> I was there and you were like, he's clicked up it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... Ranger station. That needs to be within the power. The, yeah, exactly. As per yeah. as per nearly all the buildings, they need to be within the, the power radius. So. so can they snap to the path, or is it just a case of they could be anywhere in there? These, yeah, these ones you can put them anywhere. Although you need to uh, obviously place it in a valid location. So that that one's claim it's too steep. It might be in your interest to just clear it a bit, a bit of area over here where you've got some room. Oh, all of this. This. Yeah, or okay. you know somewhere that makes okay. some, makes some space. Can I flatten the landscape? You can indeed, yeah. That's one of the options there. You've got the ability oh, to, to add forest, but also um, shrubbery and water, and you can oh. you can flatten or smooth the landscape. So, uh, Oh, that's really cool. I was hoping that terraforming would be part of this. I was a bit worried that it was like, you can't touch the environment except for maybe deleting trees. That's really cool. Was yeah. that hard to work on? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it was It was definitely um, you know, an interesting technical challenge for the 
for the people that are much more clever than I. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't undersell yourself. So, <laughs> there we go. Nicely done. And then that just needs to be connected up to the path. Okay. Like a pro. Fantastic. And then, so there we go. As I, as I did also mentioned oh. earlier, you have a finite amount of power. So, oh, oops. that building is now requiring power extra that power. Your, your power station is not generating. So, we need to, um, easiest way to solve this is to build an additional power station. Okay. So I've got an operation. So that's actually got its own special little power menu, and it should just be at the top. Ah, right. OK. And I can place this so anywhere? Power stations don't require power, strangely enough. So yeah, anywhere anywhere that's a valid location to build it, you mm. should be able to place it. OK. It was there for a second. I think it was uh, this side. Yeah, of it was that one. Yeah, there, there we go. go. OK. And what we just need to do here, then, in addition to, oh. the, to the path, you just need to connect it up to your. To the additional pylon. Yeah, to your oh, pylon okay. network. But what, awesome. what this does, you know, the 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 pylon networks basically allow you to either have one one power network or if you wanted to build contingency you could have you know parallel power networks so mm -hmm. for example if something were to happen that made your power lines possibly like rain you know, like, you know, <laughs> a little some, bit some weather um you know you could have a, a a contingency there if you wanted to but uh, you know it's up to you you don't have to do it that way what's the worst that could happen to a park Far from dinosaurs breaking out, like weather-wise. Um, there are storms. Mm -hmm. There is some unpleasant weather <laughs> that could that could do things to to something hot buildings. Um, Anything hot? I'm, I'm not sure about uh, hot. It's <laughs> sort of gusty. Gusty. Kind of okay. Uh, things that you know, things that could possibly take out power or or, or maybe even damage buildings. Right, okay. Ah, that would be nice to come back. I'd like to see that. Possibly, <laughs> possibly imagine what that might be. <laughs> I'm hoping. Okay, so we still got a little bit of time on that. It, it did say that this needed more power, did it? So I think that was just because that finished building before, ah, the, before the power station. So you gotcha. resolve that. If you uh, put your cursor over a power station, you can or click on it, you can actually get a bit of a detailed breakdown of like the amount of power. So um, it gives us 60 at the moment. Okay. So yeah, so and that's... Uh, got uh, and use power zero. so the other power station so because power stations are quite the way the power network works kind of fluid um, mm. because you built a power station there I think that's probably closer to the building so they will be taking power from that one and you'll, what you'll find is the second power station or the original one right. has now got a lot more unused power oh okay because so, they, they, they that's sort of, closer exactly they right. feed, feed the buildings closest to them first right oh shark DNA the lifespan and uh, resistance defense and resilience oh wow I like it how much time do we have? We're, we're doing all right. We've got about 10 minutes, I think. Oh, no! I haven't even made things kill each other. Like, yes. Someone will come and knock on the door. <laughs> when we're, when we're well, someone's got low health. Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be... Oh, uh, lucky. So did, we, did we build a... Yes, we did. Station. There we go. So as before, you can... Oh, I'm taking yeah. control. <laughs> okay, so... And you've also completed your contract, so that's something to look forward to when you... You when we're done saving well, we have to see if... I've heard good things about the <laughs> I was like, hmm. So you can pretty much have free range of the park when you're in this mode. Exactly. I'm not yeah. forgetting, just prioritizing. That's it. You got it. Oh, it automatically opens. Oh, that's Indeed. nice. That's something that I really wanted in Operation Genesis was gates on the fences. And it was teased in like a little tiny like screenshot. Oh. Anyway, back to, back to this amazing game. <laughs> so... Right. Oh, right, here we go. Let's test that. So, can I select different things, or will this only be uh, so sedatives? Or, no, know, so you, you're basically they they're always equipped for the job that they uh, they need to fix. They've got all of the cures in the jeep with them, or the four x four with them. So, oh, okay. This guy's listened to some interesting music. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. So, would if you. Gave it more resistance, would it need more medication, more shots? So it's it's more um, the chance of it catching rather than the, the sort of resilience to the cure. Ah, okay. Well, we're going to make triceratops. Well, and you cure the dinosaurs, so we're good. So one other thing to do that's, that's quite interesting uh, is if you just go back to your Jeep when you're, when you're done in here. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, just to show you a little tidbit. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then select the Jeep there just before they drive away. Oh, yep. And take control. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to um, tranquilizing dinosaurs, your ranger teams also take care of fence and building repairs, 
which again you can assign them the tasks to, to, to do by the AI, or uh, you can actually, if you press, uh, or if you head back into the enclosure, okay, sorry, um, go and find a dinosaur to look at. So what happens if I was in a? Okay, that's a good one. So oh you, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, it's just, fine. Just press the F key. And take photos. Oh. Take a photo. Oh my God. Yes. So. I got money photo, again. Photographs are scored. Uh, oh right. The, the more, right. The, you know, the more interesting things you capture, and the the, the photo mode. That's bigger and scarier the dinosaurs are the more uh, your points will be worth and ultimately the more cash you can get from them. But there are also contracts that can ask for specific photographs. Okay. So, um, you know, you might be asked to take a photograph of dinosaurs having a fight or feeding or doing all sorts of sorts of things. It's just a, a, something interesting in there. Oh, well, yeah. she wasn't... So can I beep at the dinosaurs still? You <laughs> can, yes. I don't know what the button is on, on keyboard, but it's... Um, it, it's there, it's, it's there. It's definitely there, yeah. It was one, one of the keys will do it. So what if I, like, I was I'm driving a Jeep in a really deadly carnivorous enclosure? I'm guessing the carnivores would then go for me. I'm so oh, oopsie daisies. Oh. I left the gate open? I don't know. Do I don't you? even know what happened. <laughs> well, she's fine. So uh, if, you, um, if you check your map, you should be able to see if there's any, any holes in your, in your fence. Okay, yeah, sure. But uh, so uh, just to answer your question, the, um, I think she might have got out. Earlier. Through the gate? Yeah, maybe? Uh, maybe. I don't know if that gate's open. It looks close to me. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, dinosaurs won't directly attack the Jeep. But you can find that it can be knocked about by dinosaurs. Um, they're quite big, and they you know the jeep can be affected by phys right. physics. So if a, a random tail swipe or even a charging dinosaur will definitely knock a jeep. So, but no way. one can die. No one in your range team can die. Oh, well, I was hoping there would be like you know in a, like Indominus Rex's enclosure, you've got to try and find it or something like that. Oh, but that's interesting. That, that's that's interesting to note. Right, so I think I did get the Triceratops. I, you know what? I do have Ceratosaurus in here. Uh, why haven't I been making this? I've only got like five minutes left. <laughs> Make it. Don't care about it. Give it a squid eye, whatever. <laughs> uh, also, <coughs> enclosure. Uh, oh, can we make a goat? Uh, you, can, you can indeed, yeah. It's oh, the squirrel. There yeah, it is. Yeah, it's in there. You know what? We haven't used this enclosure. That's exactly what it's going to be. So there's also... Uh, I want to pop some. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Let's just make it make a goat farm. <laughs> you get me. <laughs> Come to Jurassic World. Okay. Visit the goats. Oh no, is, is that the knock? That was the knock. Oh no. Can I can I just make the Ceratosaurus so quickly? He's uh, he's gonna take as long as he takes. I'm afraid. Oh no! <laughs> Damn. We'll see. We'll see. We've probably got five minutes. So five. Let's, let's see if we can. Uh, is there any way to speed it up? Anyway. There. There are research items that you can apply as upgrades to the building that can speed up, but I don't think it can work after the fact. Oh, right, okay. Damn. Oh, no. I know, this is too much. Yeah, no, but th this is show it's so good. It shows so much potential. More importantly, you've created a goat farm. That, you know what? Yeah, that's it. I want to put my Jeep in there and I could take pictures of them. You've created a can, can you name the goats? You cannot know, but you're not the first person to ask me that question. <laughs> so I am gonna take that, take that back with me. <laughs> I am a bit worried that you know you might have some some goat attachment if we can name them that uh, might not be wise. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, mm. I could see that being a bad. <laughs> my my child was traumatized because it named a goat and then got eaten. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, well. So well, that while well, that Ceratosaurus is still ticking over, I mean, we can still try and uh, transport your. Oh yes, tranquilized. Oops. My bad. Struthy. Struthamimus. Um, right. I keep forgetting. I, like, I always click on the dinosaur, and I forget we need to go into the ACU. That's right. And then do it. Okay. And then, oh, and then yeah. yeah. You, you got it. How frustrating must it be, <laughs> to, be to watch this unfold? It's fine. Ooh. I was going to say that. And there we go. Right. Lovely. Right. And how? How long is the, uh, the Ceratosaurus? Ooh. Oh, we're almost halfway. We're almost halfway. I'm like, it's impossible. I just want to get. We're trying. Just quickly. Oh, I just need. I just need to see it and run. I need to see it run. That's what I want. So, what else have we got? Well, that's been done. That was no. There's no real point. Oh, okay. So you can get different things to sell as well. You and can, yeah. So you know, you can always. You don't always necessarily get fossils back from from digs. You can get some some precious metals or other 
goodies that can that can be sold to, to sort of bolster your wallet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's additional way to make income. It is, yeah, but it's not it's not guaranteed. You know, you cost money to do expeditions, so you might not yeah, get okay. any, anything additional. So. so that's basically just to collect fossils and uh, create more of a genome for your dinosaurs. Y yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, for the extracting. I'm seeing here a 52 attack. Mm -hmm. Why is that highlighted? Um, that is a good question. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> why that is highlighted. It's just uh, possibly because it's its highest stat. Oh, oh okay. Oh, uh, but I'm not 100% sure or something. I'll, I'll have to check. Can I take control of this thing? You cannot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we uh, go. Just like, watch the dinosaur go. Specially trained pilots <laughs> for that one. It's going to be put in and then eaten by a Ceratosaurus. Oh, we're there. We're there. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. I, think, I know you pushed me time. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. It's, it's if, if someone comes in. <laughs> Somebody barges in. Yeah. Get him out. <laughs> yeah. I just want to see it. Come I think on. We should be able to release it and then wrap up. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So I noticed that everybody. Oh no, that's right. It was my security army that came out of there. Yeah. But this is like so the you main. So you should see now that you're starting to get a bit more of a. And make up so there's some you've still got some some just some tourists there mm -hmm. and you've got some scientists look like they're they're leaving they're heading home for the day oh right so we have day and night cycles where staff will leave so we they? don't we don't have day nights so oh, okay we, we have uh we have what we've done is we there's no reason why we couldn't, couldn't have done couldn't, yeah. but we instead we've chosen to set each island um at different times of day and with with kind of different uh lighting just just to kind of help give them a bit more flavor Right. Um, as, well, as you progress, as you progress through, mm -hmm. um, and set to sort of help create a different feeling mm -hmm. for each. I think it's quite nice. Which, yeah, hopefully, you'll find out in the future. Oh, oh yes, definitely. Done, done, done. Here we go. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Oh. Now, do carnivores come out hungry? Uh, so they can. Do. That's that's what I'm wanting. Needs. <laughs> oh wow. So if we uh, we might find her. Here we Press go. R and have a quick look at her. And oh no, she oh, seems she to be okay. Well. She might be thirsty, so she might head straight for the water. We'll see what she does, and then mm -hmm. I'm afraid we're gonna have to wrap up. You know? That's completely fine. You. Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> that's a more aggressive knock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks great though. That's all we got time for. But there, so at, least, at least we got to let's see a little bit of a that. run. Yeah, there she is, right? Right, thank you so That's much right. for You're allowing me welcome. to get an early little glimpse of this. You are more than welcome. It's been a pleasure. That's beautiful, right? Lee, I'll, I'll just uh, <laughs> yeah. stop. Bye bye. <laughs>